What's up you guys, Frankie here. Thank you for checking out the channel. This is where we learn all things, save money, make money, get out of debt, and also how to spend money because spending money can be fun too. So today we're gonna talk about Amazon devices. I'm trying to avoid calling this one out for your sake. And whether or not this is a good investment and is there any way that this investment could actually pay for itself. So I had this idea today in the sauna at my gym. This is where I do my best thinking, TMI, I whatever. And I wanted to come home and try a bit of an experiment today. Every Friday I get an email from Amazon that says something like, what's up with this week? And in this email it gives you just a list of ideas, some fun things, some useful things, and certainly some new things. So I had this idea to just go through the last three or four months of emails that I've been getting and was just scanning for anything related to personal finance or financial education. And just maybe shopping or deals in general. So I created a list of uh, maybe 20 questions and we're going to see today which of these questions are actually going to be useful in helping us with money. So with that said, let me go ahead and grab her. Alright. A little dusty. She on? Yep. Okay, so I've got Echo next to me now booting up. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually show you how you can change the name from the A word to either Echo or Amazon. So I'm gonna do that right now to get started so I don't trigger yours off the entire time if you're listening near one. Change your name to Echo. Okay, you can call me Echo on this device in a few seconds. Now what do I call it when I'm referencing it? Reference it as Amazon. So Amazon here can uh, define words for you, so let's try that. Echo, can you define compound interest? Compound interest is usually defined as interest paid on both the principal and on accrued interest. Yeah, fair enough. Echo, can you define a bear market? Bear market is a noun meaning a stock market where a majority of investors are selling, causing overall stock prices to drop. Hmm. Okay, well, this video is gonna take a long time at this pace. Here's another quick tip you can make your Amazon speak quicker. These, this name thing's confusing. Echo, can you speak faster? Okay, I will speak at this speed from now on. Hmm. Can you sound different? That's just the sound of me, getting smarter. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, Amazon is connected to Amazon, your account, your website. She can help you add things to your list, your shopping list for later. Echo, can you add paper towels to my shopping list? I've added paper towels to your shopping list. Cool. By the way, I can learn your voice to improve your shopping experience. Food is where I know at least we personally spend and budget a lot of money monthly. So let's see if Amazon can help us there. Echo, can you give me a cheap dinner recipe? For dinner, I recommend grilled chicken piccata. 35 minutes to make. Serves four. Start recipe. Send it to your phone or here next recipe. Okay, that was pretty cool. So that works. Raspberry molten chocolate cupcakes. 25 minutes to make. Echo, Serves 12. stop. If I'm debating between meal one and meal two, I could assign meal one heads. Echo, can you flip a coin for me? Okay, here's coin. Heads. Okay, I'm having meal one tonight. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes, hot dogs are sandwiches. Hmm. Debate is settled. Amazon is gonna make it really easy for you to shop on Amazon. So what are some things that Amazon can do for you? You can ask her to reorder your most recent purchase of X, Y, or Z. You can actually use your Amazon device to help you with daily deals. So let's try that out. Echo, what are my deals for today? Here are your deals. Halloween candy in bulk. It's $14.66 on Amazon after $10.33 in savings. So there you go. 10 bucks off of Halloween candy in bulk. But this one's kind of cool that I assembled upon and this is having Amazon help you determine the best selling or most popular product. So if you're considering, let's just use a 4K television as an example, you can actually ask which one you should buy. Echo, which 4K television should I buy? A response from an Amazon customer about Samsung 50 inch 4K smart TV says, only Bluetooth option I've seen is for speakers. Not that useful, but obviously she's reading reviews. So if you had a particular model, you can ask for some reviews. You can set reminders, of course, outside of Amazon. Great reminders are to just have you remember to do things like, let's say, pay your credit card bill. Echo, remind me to pay my credit card bill tomorrow at noon. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at noon. I'm gonna get so many weird alerts and updates here in the next couple of weeks. Echo, remind me to pick up milk when I get to Whole Foods today. I'll need to set this reminder on your phone. What's your name? Frankie. Okay, Frank. Today when you arrive at Whole Foods Market, I'll remind you on this device and send a notification to your phone. Don't shop at Whole Foods. Very expensive. Especially the milk. I don't know about the milk. 
If you're into investing, your Amazon device is a really useful tool to just quickly hear how some of your stocks might be doing. Echo, how is the S&P 500 looking today? When the market closed, the S&P 500 was down over four points or 0.14% at 2,966. Don't overreact, it's fine. Might be a good time to buy. How is the Starbucks stock looking today? As of 3.59 p.m. Eastern, Starbucks traded at 86 US dollars and 69 cents on the NASDAQ, up 0.38% since previous close. This is a really good one if you're considering moving to a different state or city. And let's say you just wanna know more about how much the cost of living is in that city. Echo, what is the average electricity bill in Seattle, Washington? As of 2017, the average energy bill for Washington residents was 98 US dollars and 78 cents. Sounds about right. What's the average energy bill in San Francisco? The average energy bill for California residents was 101 US dollars and 49 cents. Okay, so state. Let's try this with gas as well. How much does gas cost in Austin, Texas? But in Texas, the average price of gas over the past week was two US dollars and 29 cents per gallon. Did That's that answer your question? Good, yes. How much does gas cost in Washington state? Over the past week, the average price of gas in Washington was three US dollars and nine cents per gallon. That's why I don't have a car. Now, if you have an Audible account and let's say a personal finance book that you just downloaded, you can actually have Amazon read it to you. Or if you're considering buying a book and you're not sure, even after you've read the reviews, you can actually have Amazon read you a sample from the beginning. Echo, read me my book, The Money Resolution. Resuming the money resolution, money. That was my New Year's resolution one year ago. Echo. I knew. Can you read faster? Sorry, I don't know that. Now, I don't have an Audible account. Otherwise, I think I would hear myself reading the book, which would just be very meta and weird, so I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. Echo, could you read me the four-hour work week? This is Audible, the four-hour work week. Resuming 100 side hustles. It wasn't until a year and a half after starting the blog that he found a real way to make money by creating online courses. We'd all like more time and maybe you can make more money with that extra time. And one of the biggest time sucks I think we all have is traffic. You can use Amazon to check your commute in the morning. Echo, how's my commute to Starbucks downtown? The fastest route takes about 15 minutes via North 34th Street and WA 99. Now on that same note, what can slow you down in the morning is losing your phone. Echo, help me find my phone. I'm going to call the phone now, so listen out. You can't hear it because it's on silent. <laughs> Pretty cool. So that worked. One other really, really cool thing you can do is actually donate through your Amazon device. I know in the time of natural disasters, you can donate directly to the Red Cross. I just saw that recently during kind of back to school season, you could actually donate the cost of a backpack to a program, which I'll put on the screen right here. Echo, I'd like to make a donation. What charity do you want to donate to? Suggest one. Mix 101.5 Radiothon for Duke Children's at Children's Miracle Network. Echo, I'd like to make a donation to a charity in Seattle. Did you mean Mix 101.5 Radiothon for Duke Children's at Children's Miracle Network? Echo, I'd like to make a donation to the Austin Everett Foundation. Did you mean Action Against Hunger USA? Very close. Yes. How much do you want to donate? Five dollars. Do you want to donate five dollars now? Yes. There we go. Five dollars will be paid using Amazon Pay. We did a thing today. I challenge you to do the same thing. Just five dollars to a charity of your choice. And I'll put in the description below some other ways to find different charities using your Amazon device to make your donation. And I encourage you, seriously, just five bucks. A lot of times we forget birthdays, which you could do a lot of birthday things using your device. And so one of them that's pretty cool is to actually send a digital greeting card. So this will save you five, six bucks and a trip to the store. So let's try that out right now. I put birthday card on your to-do list. You can actually win a million dollars using your Amazon device. Echo, can we play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This is still on TV, by the way. I'm your host, Chris Harrison, and welcome love Chris to Who Harrison. Wants to Be a Millionaire. We have 15 questions daily from $500 all the way up to $1 million. Step You can't to the actually top. win the money. But this is just a game. Wrong, are you ready to play? Yeah. Let's begin with your first question, $500. I wanted Chris Harrison Which to read it. Which term describes something extremely alarming or frightening? A, hair raising. B, nose elevating. C, ear escalating. A. Is A, hair raising your final answer? Yes. That's exactly right. You got it. Yes. 
Let's say you're about to tackle all of your bills and before you do, you just need to get in the right mood. So, Echo, help me relax. Sure, I can help you with that. Would you like to try sleep sounds, thunderstorm sounds, or would you like to pick a relaxation category? Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. Here are some thunderstorm. Now, I don't know if this is the one you'd want, maybe something with the beach or ocean, but there you go. Echo, I've had a rough day. Can you tell me some good news? A toy fox terrier which disappeared from her family's Florida home in 2007 has been found over 1,000 miles away in Pittsburgh and reunited with her owner. 14-year-old named Duchess was found hungry and shivering under a shed. Staff located a microchip and traced the animal to its owners in Boca Raton. Duchess owner Catherine Strang drove to Pittsburgh to be reunited with her dog. That was really good. <laughs> now we're back to thunderstorms. Can you add Kleenex to my cart? 65 count, pack of four, good story. 260 tissues. Now, the other thing you can set up with your Amazon is briefs. So you could go through and select briefs related to personal finance and personal finance news. All you have to do is ask Amazon to play your brief. Echo, play my daily brief. Here's your news. Good morning, I'm Julia Chatterley. I'm Dave Briggs, time for the five things you need to know for Monday, October 14th. All right, this one's for all you Bitcoin people out there. I have no idea what this question even means, but I saw it in the Friday email roundup. Echo, how many nickels are in Bitcoin? One Bitcoin is worth 8,385 US dollars, up less than 1% over the last 24 hours. Tell me a Bitcoin joke. What does a vampire use as payment? Cryptocurrency. Tell me a joke about money, my bank account. Where does 007 invest his savings? Bonds, stocks and bonds. Makes sense. Tell me a money joke. What happened when the marsupial applied for a mortgage? He didn't qualify. Why did the snowplows ask for a raise? Because they're just scraping by. That was pretty good. <laughs> Echo, can you recommend a podcast about finance? Choosing a finance podcast for you. Here's Money Girl's quick and dirty tips for a richer life. And welcome back to the Money Girl Podcast. My mission is to help you live rich and love the journey, especially if you are interested in business, having mm. your own business, that is. So that was all things devices and personal finance. There's some education in there. There's some silliness in there. We got daily deals. We got cost of living analysis, how to pick meals that are affordable, listening to personal finance books, getting suggestions about podcasts related to personal finance. So I gotta say, I think the Amazon devices are certainly a good investment, especially if you can get them on sale, the, the dot version for about $25. So that's it guys, thanks for checking this video out. I hope you got something out of this, whether it was you know, personal finance related or just tips on how to use your Amazon device. Let me know if you have any great tips or suggestions that I missed, either about personal finance or not. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, tap the like button down below, and as always, I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Echo, play some exit music. Good choice. I got this feeling. Inside my bones It goes electric wavy When I turn it on All through my city All through my home We're flying up No ceiling when we in our zone I got